All right, today guys, we're gonna be cutting up some strips for uh, flounder bait. We have some flounder ribbons, a couple flounder belly in the top. The brown is very good bait. A really nice squid. These squids, if you can get these squids, they're really thick, they're really good. And of course, sea robins. Everybody catches sea robins. Sea robins are an excellent flounder bait. I'm gonna show you how to cut these and trim them and make them work well. First, of course, you want to fillet it, get those strips off. The other thing, everybody likes to use the bellies with the white meat. I've found that the dark meat, especially if you can get one with the orange strip down there, that really works well, more so than the white belly would. So that's why I do it this way. You do get some white in there, but you get that white and the orange and the brown combined in the strip, it's excellent. Beautiful, beautiful orange marks here. This is going to be a good bait. Another important thing you have to do when you get these strip baits, there's too much meat on there. You don't want to leave that much meat. That's just going to peel off and make the bait look pretty ugly. So you do want to trim that off. Leave a little bit on, maybe an eighth of an inch thick or so. Next, you want to cut these into nice pendant shaped strips. This one's still a little bit thick there. This one will work good in two spots. Cut that into two strips. Works well, better cutting this way. And we got a couple nice pendants there. These guys, they're going to be nice. I'm going to leave them nice and long too. Big attractant for the big fish. If I cut that right down the center, I'm going to get some nice white, orange, and that. That stripe down there, that's going to be a beautiful bait. That's a killer bait. Look at that, it's beautiful. Next we're going to get to this nice squid. You get these nice squids. They're nice and thick, they'll stay on your hook. A lot better than the skinny squids will. Get these. What I like to do with these, get rid of that end piece. Can't do much with that. Doesn't look so nice. And you just cut these, and they're going to be strips that long. A little bit smaller baits you might want to put on your teaser hook. And you just cut these right into pendants, just like the independents. Just like that. Just keep going back and forth. Get them the width and the shape that you want. Doesn't get any easier than that. kind of small, I'll get rid of them. And you got those beautiful squid baits. And if you like them a little bit longer, maybe get rid of that. And again, we're going to cut some pendants out of this. And a little bit longer. Catch those bigger fish. That's what we're all trying for. squid cut up. Now these are the ribbons. Everybody saves the ribbons so they don't have to eat the meat. No, they want to eat the meat and don't waste anything. When you get your ribbons, you take them off. Watch for those pieces of meat that are on there. Get rid of them. They're just going to flake off and not look good. This one's already not too bad there. A little bit long. I'll shorten that up a little. That's the white. Everybody likes the white. Again, check on it. That's not bad, it's pretty solid. I'll take, still want to shape that. This is a nice piece here. And this one I'll cut into two little pendants. That one's pretty bad. But that's a bit of better shape than just the way it was. There's a good one there already. This one we want to shape a little bit.
that one's going to be two pendants right away. We already got them. Let's get rid of that. Black ones. Not too many people use the black, but it actually is very good and it seems to attract some of the bigger fish and just make it look nice. Again, you see we have some meat left on that ribbon that has to come off. That just will not look right after a very short drift. That'll be peeling off and looking pretty disgusting. Again, that worked out nice. Two nice strips there. The other thing I like to do with these strips after they're done, cut a little slit in there. Put that tail on a slit. It's going to give it a little bit more action. It's going to just swim around, give it a little more motion for an attractant. And then you do the same thing with the black side. And the next thing you're going to do is put all of this in a Ziploc bag. And put some kosher salt in there. That'll toughen them up. Or if you're on a boat and you do this, of course you can't do that. But that will just toughen them up, make them stay on the hook, make them last longer. And uh, I also have a little bit of baking soda with the salt. That helps preserve the color. There you go.